Hi everybody, this is Reese Barber from Audiology Associates. Thank you very much for watching our EO Axe Removal video today. If you haven't come across our channel before, we post new EO Axe Removal videos every Monday, Wednesday and Friday at 9pm UK time. So if you do enjoy the video, then please consider subscribing. So we've got one patient in this video today, a lovely, lovely lady came through the clinic, uh, feeling really blocked up in both ears, really narrow and quite long ear canal, so quite a difficult one to do, but definitely worth a watch. It's a really, really good one tonight. So without further ado, I'll crack on and we'll get this going for you. So I remember to put my glasses on this time so I keep forgetting to do it. So as you can see here, we've got uh, sort of a very, very narrow entrance to the canal. Lots of these little, uh, cilia, these little tiny hairs all around the outside edge, very fine hairs, which protect the ear canal from getting large amounts of dirt or debris down inside it. Uh, so we've just got through that and you can see we've got a very, very deep, piece of hardened up uh, what looks like wax at first instance here. Uh, the patient is a self-confessed Q-tip cotton bud user, uh, which is why this is impacted so deeply into this canal. And you can see the depression in the center there where the end of the, uh, the cotton bud or Q-tip has just pushed that further in and spread the wax look onto the canal walls on the sides. So our first job here is to try and remove as much of this outer section of wax here, peel that away from the canal. Uh, this is the fine end you can see here as well. So this isn't the standard size on the tube because the canal just wouldn't accommodate it as much as we tried. You can see we're lifting now from the base of the canal, a very awkward shape to this canal, very narrow entrance, very long, but just as you go in, the canal drops. Um, so what I'm doing here is I'm trying to find the leading edge of this wax. So I'm trying to back up uh, the, the to the entrance here, but where we've got this little ledge, it was very difficult to accommodate the endoscope in there and see below that ledge and get the tool in as well. So I'm just gently probing it there. You can see the edge just lifting away. So we've got this long, uh, base layer of wax here holding this in and then at the bottom end of the canal closest to the eardrum there impacted against the eardrum is this much harder layer that's been pushed down in. So we've got a good grip there with the uh, little fine end, slowly working this one out. This is a long video guys, it goes on for I think it's 18 minutes altogether but it's definitely worth a watch so try and stick with us to the end, I know most of you do anyway but um, there are some really really good uh, skin ribbons in here along the way so just keep trying to lift this base section away here. Slowly working it off. Now remember the ear canals are extremely sensitive and they're very, very thin. So we've got to be really careful when we're working this close to the canal. The reason that you can see a couple of those little fine hairs at the bottom of the view there, if I push through those hairs, then what will happen is it'll reduce, you can see, it reduces the movement a little bit to the fine end. Now, don't forget you're working in a very small space, so you have to be conscious of both tools all the time so they don't kind of crisscross over one another, which would form a jarring movement in the ear canal, and you don't want to get that in here. So you can see we've managed to peel the left side. We're just lifting off the bottom of the canal there. Trying to undo it. Remember with a fine end, you don't get a tremendous amount of suction grip because it's a much, much smaller surface area. You don't get that nice wide grip, so that nice steady hold on the wax. So the fine end is great for doing work as we're doing now, which is this kind of detaching from the canal wall, lifting up off the canal. Just taking that first. You can see it's starting to peel there. We've got our first bit coming. So we've managed to get the break a little bit away, but you can see how thick a texture this wax is out, how kind of dried out and sticky this is. Um, but yeah, it's great for lifting off the canal wall, but not quite so good for getting good grips and pulling large pieces down. Uh, normally, if the canal would have accommodated it, we would have gone in with the, the standard size on the tube, a little bit wider, better grip, uh, but just we didn't have the room in here, unfortunately. So we've got a good grip there, a little bit of wiggling to get this out of the canal. You can see we're just starting this off, but as you can see, this is still connected to the wax behind. Look how it disappears off into the ear canal there. So this is one, one big piece. Um, so we're gonna use the, the crocodile forceps here to get a good grip on this outer section. Just wiggling, trying to move this down. You can see how tough this is. Look at that, there we go. Look at that coming down the canal. 
There we are. That's the first of your ribbons. So you can see it, it, it was quite a long piece in such a teeny little ear canal. Uh, really, really long pieces. You can see how they fold layer over one another like this all the way out. So when you pull then, it works like a concertina. So basically it all unfolds into this long ribbon and you'll see the little kind of um, the little ripples in it where it's all sort of concertina up in there. There we go, just trying to free up the next section. This is all about loosening, freeing up sections to be able to take them away. It's so well bound in there. We have broken that little piece away there. I'm glad I've got my glasses on today. I can actually see a lot, I keep forgetting. A lot of people are mentioning in the comments, you've got to put your glasses on again. It's because I'm concentrating so much on getting the, the, the keys right to make this video appear. I keep forgetting to put them on, but um, yeah, at least I can see a little bit better today. My screen's about this big, so it's huge. I can see it anyway, but it's uh, it does make things a little bit easier to see. You can see now how that whole section is really bound together. It's really jammed, and it's difficult to get these layers to unpeel from one another. So I've introduced a little bit of olive oil in here, which is just going to help to loosen those layers apart slightly, soften the skin that's mixed in with this. Uh, to make it a bit easier to come away. Uh, but though you do get, especially with these fine little hairs, the oil can adhere to those little hairs. So as you push the endoscope in, it can just blur the screen, which is what you're seeing happening at the bottom there. Now this section to the top here, we can see that's a little bit deeper, an awkward angle to get to. So you tend to have to tilt your patient over just slightly so you can get to that angle to pull this down. But that's a nice long peel going down, all the way down the canal there. So that's really loosened this top section. So let's see if we can roll this now. Let's see if we can bring it towards uh, the endoscope. You can see just freeing it up, just gently rolling it forward. You can see the back end of the wax just starting to lift up there. Trying to aim for the softer material that's been against the canal wall. There we are, we've got a good grip there. We've just unpicked this little extra section here at the front that's come away now. There we are. Now, we you, as we pull down, you can see that whiter material, fresher skin material coming over the top there. That's great to get a grip on because it, it tends to be much tougher material. And because it's slightly softer, you can get a good grip. So you can see we've actually turned the wax. Now, we've flicked it over end on end. And it's just working its way down the canal. There we are. Yes, I'm trying to feed it out to the canal here. Um, but if we can get a, a, a strong enough piece to come through, then I can switch tools and use the crocodile forceps to pull it the rest of the way. Difficult to get the forceps, or any tool really, other than the fine end, down into this ear canal. So we slow this down now. You can see we're slowly, there you go, working the next section down the canal. You can see then it's brought the next piece forward, so we're really starting to unravel this now. Let's get a good grip. There we are, wiggle up and down, help to feed it out of this ear canal. There we are, that's brought the next section. You can see how much, it's like Aladdin's cave in there. There was so much in there uh, to come out. Do you know what, and this lady had actually been to a GP complaining of reduced hearing. She also had a little bit of musical tinnitus, which is which which is uh, not quite as common as the, as the kind of regular rushing and whistling and stuff you can get. Um, but GPs, like I said, the ears were completely clear. Um, so a, a little bit frustrating sometimes from our, our point of view, because we can see in here, we can see the wax. And this poor lady's been suffering for, for months and months and months like this. Um, we're just starting to lift the base now there we go. We've got we've got a large section there on the move. Can you see how it moves when you pull it? How it how it kind of bends and flexes and then flicks back into place. So it gives you a good indication how tough this is. There we are. We've got it moving towards the outer part of the ear canal. Now we're just going to try and sort of wiggle it uh, into view. Start it working down the canal. If we're lucky, it won't stick to the canal walls on the way down. There we go, just you can see it's just a bit too big to work down. So we're gonna get a crocodile forceps on here now. Get a good grip. I know what's coming. 
here we go so really kind of wiggle this keep an eye on this canal guys look at this coming out that is a great skin ribbon look at this one it's still going we're still going we're still going we're still there we go uh as you can see that's you just literally just filled it look how long that piece of skin is that's just came out of there absolutely epic i think i did actually see whoa when i came out and the, the patient was laughing because it was such a long piece uh we'll show you it at the end it's all laid out on the ruler for you at the end um it's well worth watching just for that one bit i think but there we are it's so we've we've taken that away <clears throat> What you can see now is that we've got this much, much deeper section that's been pushed right up against the eardrum. Um, so we're just going to go in and clear this up. You can see that, that the white uh, skin debris there at the top. So we're just going to clear that away. Oh, if you are liking the video, guys, uh, and you're not subscribed already, do me a favor, hit me a thumbs up. Uh, drop me some comments in the comment section below. Uh, did you also have a whoa moment when that came away? Uh, let me know if you did. And um, oh yeah, if you're not subscribed already, please uh, subscribe or consider subscribing. You don't have to subscribe, but consider it. So you can see it's coming away. They're really nice. just slowly teasing this away from the eardrum now. Bless her, this lady sat through such an awful lot. She was an absolute trooper, absolute star. She was such a giggle as well. She was so funny. So I'm aiming for the bottom. You can see that we've just, we can just start to see the top left corner of the eardrum there. We're just drawing this dead skin material and wax material from deeper now, holding on to it. Uh, just pulling away. Oh, don't forget guys, there are uh, the patients, both ears are done this one. So stay tuned for the second ear as well. It comes after this one. You can still see we're getting these longer pieces coming away. There you go. I know I keep saying this was a small ear canal, but for such a tiny space, there was so, so much wax in here and skin. There you go. Lovely. That's coming away. You can actually see it unraveling as we get the suction on. You can see it kind of pulling apart in these, uh, in these larger pieces. There we are. That's looking really good. Just going to tidy up that bottom section there. Now the keen eyed amongst you will also see there's a little bit of sort of dry skin at the top of the canal. Now that's sitting just, just above the hammer bone, okay? So the lady kind of, by this point, in fairness to her, had sort of I'd had enough of the suction on this side by that point. Um, so what we do, we've got this lady back in to come in and she's just gonna have a little follow up for us to remove that last little piece at the top there. Um, but we're just gonna give it just a week or two just to see if it migrates away on its own if it doesn't we'll put it away only because it's a really awkward place for us to get to with the angle of the canal so imagine the hammer bone uh what's the best way to describe this this is your eardrum the hammer bone pushes just slightly through that and uh, pokes through the top of the eardrum so the, the skin is still around it but it just protrudes slightly there now that skin was just above that section just at the top there very difficult to get the tool at the angle, downward angle to get up there with the to accommodate in that size of your canal. But we do want to see that come away. So we're going to get her back in a week or two just to see if that's come away on its own. And if it hasn't, we'll remove that for her then. But we wanted to give her a year a little bit of a break, bless her. So uh, as you can see, this is the second year. We've got a very similar issue going on in here as well. This very sticky, honey colored um, wax and skin debris here. Just trying to get a grip. There you go. You can, we said about the last one, you can tell how tough the wax is by when you do get a grip on it, as we are here, how quickly it folds back into place. And you can actually see one of the skin ribbons here. Like, can you see how it how it bends and how it, as you move it, it's just the consistency of it's totally different. And the little ripples you can see running through it, the slight translucency, uh, translucency, I think that's a word, and then uh, little ripples all running down there. Um, it, uh, I, I can't think of a great way of describing it. It's almost like amber, like a really, really thin piece of amber. And you can see it, that's when you know it's these kind of skin issues that are going on in there. You can see that how that ripple then, how that piece of skin folds and interweaves with the wax underneath. So we've pulled that piece through. Uh, we can just about get the crocodile forcep there on the outside edge. So we'll get a good grip. Hopefully we've got hold of that piece of skin. If we have, 
what you'll see here is that whole concertina section coming away. Oh, we almost got another really long uh, ribbon there. You can see the end of it just sheared off. I was hoping we were going to get this one out as one long piece as well. There you go. Look at that coming away. Just imagine if that had stayed connected, that would be a really, it's not quite that long, but a really, really long piece. Um, so we just got what's behind that now. So that skin debris has been trapping this piece of uh, wax behind it. Trying to get a grip on this next section. We've got to be a little bit more careful here. It's very deep and the whole thing is moving as one uh, big piece. So I'm trying to fold down the canal, which effectively draws the wax uh, away from the eardrum then. So it, it kind of folds it forwards. Uh, a lot more comfortable for the patient then to have that bit removed. Uh, just you can see as we get a grip on the edge, how the whole thing turns. Um, holding that suction now in the center flatter section, allowing the suction to, to, to build, the pressure to build, helps us to hold it, not really tightly, but tight enough just to bring it forwards and away from that drum. There we are, folding this down now. As we pull this out, you can see it just jams on the outer part of the ear canal there as it tries to pull the remaining section through. There we go. So that's a nice big chunk gone. Let's see what's going on behind that now. You can see just how deep this has gone. That is literally the bottom portion of our wax is right against the eardrum there. Um, so you can see why this patient would have been having so many issues as far as hearing, uh, certainly a, a, an increased amount of tinnitus in here as well. Uh, so all these things can, can, you know, potentially, especially with this type of wax, could, could have been causing a lot of problems. And imagine if this had been left in here to dry out even further than it already had, it would have been an absolute uh, nightmare to try and get out. It probably would have ended up being referred to the ear, nose and throat consultant to get out. Just gripping that again. They'll hopefully be able to pull this through the canal. It's just coming out. Ah, there we go. It just broke away again. But you can see how we've got all these skin ribbons in there again. Just trying to get a good grip on that outside edge there. We'll just kind of sneak under this last piece, I think. There you go. I've got to be more, I'm doing too many hand movements. Mrs. B can't watch me any other video because she keeps doing these exaggerated movements at me when I'm doing it. So uh, you can see we get this last couple of pieces coming away now. We've got this one uh, big section, one big section uh, that, that's just a bit too wide to fit out the ear canal. It's a bit of an awkward shape as well. It's kind of triangular on the front, round at the back. Um, so we're going to have to try and spin this to, to fit it out of the canal. There we are. You can see it's it's very loose, um, which can be a blessing and a curse with these types of waxes. Um, when it's very loose like this, it's very difficult to reposition it because every time you move it, it just kind of falls back or the slightest touch and it'll fall back to its original position. Um, sometimes it's a little bit easier when you've got something that, that, that kind of sticks to the canal or wedges, you can turn it a lot more easily because it'll tend to stay in the same position then. So you can see now we've got a nice thin leading edge, perfect for the crocodile forceps, if we can get it on there without pushing it further in. Okay, so we've pulled it forward. We talked about that wedge. We've wedged this into the entrance of the canal now, so it's less likely to flip back. There we are, and as we're pulling now, we're drawing little pieces through. It's pulling the next section through. There you go. So that's broken most of that down. Suction now should be able to pull the rest of this through. And there's the eardrum looking very retracted, very drawn in. You've got your hammer bone in the center section, two very drawn in sections either side there. Okay, so this is what we removed. So, oh my God, inches. Oh, it's covered up the inches. Uh, that's three, four. For uh, four and a quarter, I'm going to go with inches and centimeters. I'll wait for us to pan all the way to the other side. Look at that ribbon. That's four centimeters long. So ten, just under ten and a half centimeters. So that ribbon was just under two inches in length. That that one particular ribbon you saw pull through. Lots of big debris. And that don't forget that came out of two years. So there's uh, was it four, say four and a quarter, ten ten and a half centimeters. That is a lot. Oh god, I'm going to flip back. Okay, let's take my glass back off. Um, uh, I hope you enjoyed that video, guys. Uh, it was it was a really good one to do. I was actually my first day back in work, so if you get to get a, 
Always nice to start, start the week with a good one. Um, uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget, give me a thumbs up. Drop me some comments below. Let me know if it was as good as you thought it was. I thought it was even, sorry. And uh, if you're not subscribed already, please consider subscribing for us. Uh, there should be another video that'll pop up here if you want to take another look at one and the subscribe, I think, appears over there. Um, but uh, have a lovely weekend. Look after yourselves and one another. I shall see you all on Monday. And uh, yeah, have a good time. See you soon.